It's leg day. I'm Galen Wood with Move In Home Fitness. So today we'll be demonstrating a couple of different exercises for your legs using the Hoist MI6 machine. Now the key with leg exercises is unless you're doing a hamstring exercise, you need to be focusing on squeezing your glutes. Because so many of us sit so much, our hip flexors, the muscles in the front of our hips, actually become so activated that they begin to deactivate the glute muscles. So then we start to try and come into doing a squat or a lunge or a step up or anything like that that really incorporates the glutes into the exercise, the glutes aren't firing. What happens, you'll see the body pitch forward. So as you're doing exercises, make sure you're keeping the glutes engaged, make sure you keep the core engaged. The first exercise we're going to do is that help, it will actually help to incorporate the core into your squat. Now, all squats that you do incorporate your core. Any total body exercise that you do incorporates your core. With this one though, it just helps to incorporate it a little bit more. So this is called the front squat. So what you do is you bring the handles up to your shoulders, you keep the weight into your heels. So make sure you're kind of sitting back, get the glutes to turn on, engage the core, and then go ahead and sit down like you're sitting down in a chair. And then stand back up. Now what you'll find is you'll hit a certain point as you begin to drop down where you start to feel unbalanced and the front of your body pitches forward. You want to stop before that point happens. So however far you can go down, that's fine, as long as you're not getting that pitch forward. So go ahead and sit down again, and then come back up. So really squeezing the glutes, leaning back just a little bit, engaging the core. One more time. Perfect. And then stand back up. Good. Go ahead and relax. Leg exercise two. Done from, now I've switched to this side. So with this one, imagine, you know, you're pulling a kid in a sled, you're pulling something behind you, you got your arms back. This is a great functional exercise to learn that driving forward motion. So, handles are in your hands, you're stationed on one foot, your other foot comes up, steps back into a lunge position. You come down, again, you keep the core engaged, you keep the glute engaged, and you step forward. Foot rests at the top, or you can bring that knee up if you want it to be a little bit more advanced. Either way is completely fine. But make sure you're engaging the core, make sure you're engaging the glute. Lift the knee up on this one, so bring your knee up here. All right, a little bit more advanced, then kick it back. And then knee back up to here. Perfect. All right, a little bit harder that way. So the key with functional training is total body movement. Now we're going to dial it back just a little bit and do more of an isolation. Because the glutes are such an important muscle group, you can actually isolate the glute muscle. So what you do is you take the, you take the furry cuff, it's the scientific name for it, furry cuff, and you loop it around the, uh, the, loop it around the heel. From there, you're going to engage the glute and you're going to drive it back. So the foot, foot picks up, yep, and the key is you're really engaging that glute to drive the, the foot back. Now, the other key though is that your, your body's going to want to arch. Your pelvis is going to want to tilt backwards. So what you're going to do is you're going to flex the stomach the whole time. You're flexing the stomach as hard as you can to counter oppose, that's not really a word, but you know that works, to counter oppose the glute muscle. Time for quads. Don't want to neglect those. Now this next exercise is going to replace your traditional leg extension machine. So you're, you're standing on one leg, one foot is off the ground. Again, your core is engaged, your pelvis is stable, and then you're just going to kick that leg forward. So lift the knee up here, and then you're kicking the leg straight forward. You'll feel this burn in the front of your leg. Now you can choose, you can have your knee as high up or as low down as you want, just depends on the range of motion you're trying to get with that leg. But make sure you're keeping the core engaged the whole time, your body's nice and long. 